Kate Middleton shares her first remarks on the royal engagement news. Kate Middleton's spring 2018 schedule is packed. The Duchess of Cambridge will not only be welcoming her third child into the world sometime in April, she will also be welcoming a new sister-in-law to the royal family in May. On Tuesday, while visiting the Foundling Museum, which is the United Kingdom's first children's charity and first public art gallery, the Duchess shared in the joy of the royal engagement news. William and I are absolutely thrilled, she told reporters. It's a really happy time for any couple and we wish them all the best and hope they enjoy this happy moment. It appears the royal couples have already spent plenty of time together as well. I'd been seeing her for a period of time when I literally didn't tell anybody at all. Harry said in a joint interview with Meghan with BBC, and then William was longing to meet her and so was Catherine, so you know being our neighbours we managed to get that in a couple of, well, quite a few times now. While attending the event and giving her first public statement on the engagement, Middleton looked every bit the seasoned royal in a pleated, empire waist, a lion dress from Kate Spade, which showed off just a hint of her growing baby bump. Middleton paired the dress with matching Burberry heels by Giant Vita Rossi 105 and a clutch by Mulberry Bayswater. She finished off the look with a pair of Princess Diana's sapphire and diamond oval drop earrings. Even Kate Spade was excited to see the Duchess rocking the look and shared a screen grab of her wearing the dress on their Instagram. But don't go looking for the chic frock in stores just yet, as the brand shared with the mirror. The dress is from their December collection and will not be available to the public until Monday. And like all of Middleton's looks this dress too will likely sell out in mere minutes. Though the dress is certainly pricey, that didn't stop Middleton from getting down and dirty at the arts and crafts table with a few of the children at the Foundling Museum.